Hello everyone. Do you remember last week we were thinking about our friends and how Jesus had chosen his special friends? Well, this is another story today about a time with other friends. But first, I want to tell you about Jesus. Now, Jesus was in someone's house. Now, the houses in those days would have looked a little bit like this. They would have had a flat roof and then up the side, you could there were steps all the way up onto the roof. But on this particular occasion, the house was packed full. I wonder if we can see how many people there are in there. <gasps> and they were all there to listen to Jesus. Jesus was telling them all about God. He was there to make people better. He was there to tell them all about the things that they needed to know. And they were so excited. It's a shame that we can't have houses that packed at the moment, isn't it? But that's what it was like. It was absolutely jam-packed full. They couldn't fit another person in. But there was a bit of a problem. Because in a house just down the road, there was a man who couldn't walk. His legs didn't work. And there was no way that he could get to see Jesus so that Jesus could make his legs better. But, do you know, he had fair at four very special friends and they said we need to help him get to Jesus I know we've got a really good idea so they went to his house and they called on him and they said let us have your bed cover and what they did they tied little bits of rope to the corners of his bed cover and then they helped him get out of bed and into the bed cover and they carried him all the way to Jesus this is the house that Jesus was in oh my goodness what a blessing that they could go up the side they went up the side they carried him up and it was a bit hard work but when they got to the top they thought oh no what are we going to do now and amazingly, they made a hole in the roof. And then they, very carefully, holding one piece of the rope each, they let the man down on to Jesus, where, just where Jesus' feet were. Now I'm going to do it very carefully, because down, down, down he went, right to where Jesus was standing. Oh, and Jesus looked at him. Whoops, and said, "What do you want? Where did you come from?" And all the friends must have looked down and thought, oh, "I hope he's all right." And they looked, and Jesus must have looked up to see. And the amazing thing was that Jesus knew exactly what he needed to do. He looked at the man and said, whoa, I can see your legs aren't working. I'm going to make you better. All the things you've ever done wrong are gone. I forgive you for all your bad things. Now, get up, pick up your mat and off you go. And I think there was probably had Jesus had to move out of the way a little bit for that to happen. Because the man did exactly that. He picked up his mat and he was able to walk out. And I wonder if the first thing he did was run up the steps to find his friends and say thank you to the friends for taking him. Now we're not going to make anything this week because I thought it would be a really good idea if you could make maybe a house like this. You don't have to use Duplo or Lego. Maybe you could find an old box Cut a hole out of it, find some Lego things or some Playmobil, make your own little people. You could use plasticine, you could make some things. And I wonder if you can remember the story. Let's have a quick recap. Let me find the Bible. Now, Jesus was busy, 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 wasn't he? In a house with lots and lots of people and they were crowding in. And there wasn't room for the poor man who was in bed. So his friends went to get him. And they carried him up the steps and took him to the top of the roof. They made a hole in the roof and they lowered the man right down to where Jesus was standing. 
Jesus looked at him and he said to the man, your sins are forgiven. That means all the wrong things you've ever done are forgiven and I forgive you. Get up and walk. So the man stood up and he walked and everybody in the crowd praised God. And I know that that man was pleased with his friends. Let's just pray for our friends, shall we? Jesus, we thank you that we've got friends and we thank you for this man's friends who did such a good job getting him to Jesus and Jesus was able to make him better. We thank you that you've given us friends and we pray for our friends now. You pray that you will bless them and that we will be good friends to them too. Amen. I'd love to see your houses. If you want to take a photo after you've built them and make them, why don't you post them on the page? See you soon. Bye.